stay on West Osceola Parkway. We will do that. So we are leaving the world of fantasy to go to Caribbean Peach. We are upgrading for a Disney Resort just one night at a moderate, moderately priced that I have never stayed at because I've only stayed at Coronado Springs and all three of the All Stars resorts. We are on our way. I'm very excited to sleep in a better bed and just to see the resort in general. We will meet you guys at Caribbean Beach Resort. Resort. We have 3801. We're on the first floor. We have a corner room, so we're really excited about that. We have a corner window, which is pretty cool too. But check it out. We actually got the fifth sleeper room, which I did not know we were gonna get, so I was really, really happy about that. I just love the colors, the theming in here. Hello. We have some fish that look like they're from the Little Mermaid fish. We have our couch, coffee table drawers oh there's even storage down here oh there are oh my gosh this pulls down ta-da even has some usb all right and we'll pull down this later and show you guys but i just love the colors this is actually way better than the room that i thought we were gonna get i was looking at the pictures online somehow we ended up with this one so I am so, so happy about that. I'm sure the fridge is down here. Yep. Beverage cooler. On the curtains, they even have little hidden Mickey bubbles. The ears aren't quite touching the bubble head, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I don't think that's a coincidence. And they have all the tropical, like, hibiscus. I think those are, are those plumeras? Starfish, monstera plants, tropical plants. And again, I love that we are on a corner unit. So we have more window edge than you would in another one. I love this room so much that I'm thinking about if I ever come back here, I'm going to request this room exactly. This bed looks very comfortable. I'll let you guys know tomorrow, but... I'm pretty sure, especially with the bed you guys saw in the Fantasy World Tour video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it up in the right hand corner right here. But with that bed and then sleeping in this one, I'm sure no matter what, this one's just going to feel amazing. And as always with the Disney Resort rooms, you have the USBs and the plugs right here, right next to your bedside on both sides of the bed. I Again, I just love the aesthetics and the color. I'm very into like tropical vibes when it comes to colors and decor. So this is like right up my alley. The like natural wood colors, the bamboo colors, the white, the like whitewashed um, wood, beachy wood. And uh, so I don't have all the best vocabulary <laughs> as you guys have noticed, but the light blue color with whitewash beach wood color, it is all all for me. So this was such a great surprise. I'm so happy. I really love how well they utilized all the space in here. I just wanted to show you guys the, the big bed, I guess I'll call it. Under here, there is spaces to put your suitcases and whatnot or any kind of storage that you need. Under the fifth sleeper bed, they have some drawers down here. They also made it so you could sit down there and hang out if you needed to. But this is a very large um, dresser vanity space right here and they even have like where your little breakfast nook here I'll call it where all the coffee fixings are and everything they have shelves up here so if you get a little bit of groceries some snacks you can just kind of tuck them away up there but it was just very very well thought out the floor plan and the design of this room and that is so appreciated so this looks very much Little Mermaid inspired even though you see no Ariel here. It has the colors, the the fish, the style of the animation is very much Little Mermaid, but not in a too cartoony of a way. It's still like very elegant in my opinion. 
So I'm gonna try to pull this down. See how easy it is. Okay, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Just need a little bit of force. Maybe you have to go in the middle. Oh, this is supposed to move. Oh, it's like okay. Is it on wheels? Sorry, we're doing this together for the first time. Maybe this isn't supposed to be here. <laughs> Let me see how far down it goes. Okay, I thought it was supposed to sit on this, but maybe not. It might be different than the all-star resorts where the table goes down and helps support the bed. I don't think this coffee table is here to help support the bed. So I'm gonna move it. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, but look at that. That looks like the fish from the song when he goes, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> the Duke is the Duke of Soul. Yeah. We got flounder sleeping, you have some instruments. Hello, editing panda here. So I need to correct myself on that fish or else I won't be able to sleep tonight. So that was not the Duke of Soul fish. That was actually the fish who goes, guess who got me on day plate? Okay, <sighs> feel better now. Back to you, room tour panda. And you should get, ooh, what's that? The, the snorf blat is up there. You have a little bit of kind of what looks like, not the Cave of Wonders, that's Aladdin. What is the grotto thing that she has all of her thingamabobs in called? It's like that. She's got some instruments over there. But appropriately, the fish are sleeping, which is what you're going to be doing right here. And let me turn on the light. I see a light switch. Ta -da! Very beautiful. Uh, Caribbean Beach is one of the few resorts that has the sky bucket or skyliner. I keep wanting to call it sky bucket like they used to have at Disneyland. And I know that it goes to the resort, the theme parks I should say, the only parks that it goes to is Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. I know that it goes to a few of the hotels being I think Pop Century and Riviera. There might be other ones, I'm not sure, but we will find out in just a moment. But look at the aesthetics of this this building right here. Let me get the other camera so I can show you a little bit better. The different areas, like we're in Trinidad, right? And there's like Aruba, Jamaica, or a couple of the other areas, and they all have different colors. Ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama. You know I had to do it. You know I had to. It had to be done. Similar styles, but like the railings and fencing might be different style or cut, and the colors are different. I really like this one. It's very cute. Okay, let's finish going to the skyline over here. Over across the water there, that's our buildings, is Trinidad, and there is a little beach with a hammock and everything. We can go look at that later. But let's go to the sky buckets. And there's a draw free stand right outside of the sky bucket. So here's an easy to read map. So yeah, we're in the Trinidad area. That's our rooms, but there's the other areas. This is quite a large resort. The dining has, there's a pool bar, casual dining, Sebastian's Bistro, Spyglass Grill, Centertown Market. There is a gift shop called Calypso Trading Post. And the recreation is the Barefoot Bike. Bay Bike Works. Oh, well, that sounds fun. Feature pool is marina and a running trail that goes all the way around the resort, as you can see. over here this resort's so big there's one of the beaches one of the many quote-unquote beaches you can't go in the water though you don't want to do that and there's hammocks and there's one of the side pools and there's some hangout spots there's a little lighthouse oh wow it's a, an island or something though it looks kind of like an island it's a, like a peninsula I guess oh there's like a playground and there's a little bridge right here that goes to, it looked like an island at first, but it is connected over there, I think, a little bit. 
Maybe there's a tiny bridge over there. Some places to hang out, some sand, some more hammocks, and there is, uh, you can't see it really beyond the trees though, there is a playground, some cabanas right there to hang out in. And the main pool is over here too. There's a fun water slide. We'll go check that out at some point, hopefully. Go and see some of the amenities that they have around here. Here's one of the side pools. Not as exciting in my opinion, there's no slide, but it's closer to whatever building you're staying in. Like I said, there's the areas of Jamaica, Aruba, Trinidad, Barbados, and they all have their own side pools, I'll call it. Yeah, we're gonna end up back over here at the station. And like I said, again, we're staying in Trinidad, which is actually this one over here. So we didn't, oop, hello finger. We didn't fly over it, but that's, that's our area that's over there. Really we're landing. Ooh, I was trying to There's my favorite one with Pula and Hey Hey. So cute. So when you enter the lobby, there is the check-in and concierge on the left. And then to the right is where the food is going to be, some of the food I should say. And then there's like a gift shop over here called Calypso Trading Post. Oh cool, I did not know this, but this is Disney's Caribbean Beach's 35th anniversary. Very nice. And of course, just like everywhere you go in Disney, they have press penny collectibles. They have Pirates of the Caribbean. They probably have this at Magic Kingdom outside of the ride too. And the fuel rod, they still have those. I love these like island style Christmas trees that they have lurking about the lobby. And here's a model of the Disney Dream. I have not been on this one yet. I've only been on the Wonder and the Wish, but uh, my dream Pun intended and not intended all at the same time. My dream is to go on all of them. But to be honest, I really want to go on the fantasy the most um, next to the treasure. Of course, the treasure isn't out yet. But if I could right now go on another ship, I'd like to see the fantasy. I've heard a lot of good things about that one. Oh, I love this painting. I want this in my house. Oh, it looks like the shop actually opens pretty early, 7.30. And it closes at 10. Oh, this is quite a large shop. Nice. They have all of the Christmas stuff here. So a lot of the shopping on Disney property is the same as any other store, but there's some stores like at the resorts, the hotels on Disney property, they have the specific merch that you can only find in that resort. So for example, Caribbean Beach here is the only place where you'll be able to find this Caribbean Beach specific merchandise so let's look at that they have a tumbler I don't think these ears are specific they don't say Caribbean Beach on them oh my god they do totally wrong don't listen to me look at that Caribbean Beach Resort ears lounge fly The only thing I don't like about a shirt like this is it has like Caribbean beach trees or almost looks like you work here. So I don't know. So here's another Tommy Bahama item. It's $115. This is a women's style half zip. It's an Aruba style. It's Caribbean beach. See, $115. This is very, this is very soft though. So that's nice. And then here, this looks like a women's Nike. I think a woman's fit $80 for that so just like I show in all of my tour videos that I do want to show you guys that we do have some things so if you forget anything like Advil that is necessary right there's the other side we got some q-tips deodorant anything that you forgot you may be able to find here I'm sure they don't have everything you may not have to go and take an Uber to Walgreens. You could just come here. Like I said, they do have a lot of stuff that they have at the rest of the 
shops and the parks and the resorts so nothing else really too special it's all the same we looked at the Caribbean beach stuff so let's go ahead and head on out of the gift shop and see what else we can find We're about to go check out the pool over here, but before we do, we're actually going to see what kind of fun activities the kids can do. Royal Pool. It is the main pool next to the lobby. This looks like a really fun pool for the family. They have the cannon water spouts over there. There's a zero entry across the way there. So there's a really cool slide over there. And this one looks like more of a tunnel slide over here. Oh, cool. The recreation activities is over here on this poster board. And it says, join us for our glow festival every Sunday night at 8 p.m. I'd like to do that. That sounds really cool. They even have a ping pong ball area. I realized I forgot to show you guys the bathroom. It wasn't exciting, just the usual things that are in there, but there was a picture on the wall with Flounder and Sebastian, which was kind of neat. Thank you all so much for watching this video. To help this channel keep going, please subscribe. If you made it to the end, it couldn't have been all bad, right? <laughs> so thank you so, so much, each and every one of you who have subscribed as well. You guys mean everything to me. Till next time. So you can sleep with the fishes. <laughs> I'll sleep on this. You want to feel this, babe? Oh, you're still recording? Mm hmm. I'm sorry. Those, I think, are going to be different. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> I noticed there's a Joffrey stand right, right outside the Skyliner. I was like, mmm. Oh, right outside? Yeah. You may not have to go and take an Uber to Walgreens. You could just come here and get your natural for baby food by Gerber. That sounded sponsored.